Hey guys, welcome back to Detroit Garage. Well, we finished rebuilding the end blower, and we're going to install it on Jimmy here. So we'll pull off the T blower, and we'll look at all the blowers together, the T, the end, and the, the bypass blower. Okay, well, we'll pull all this stuff off of here and then pull the blower off. So the first thing I do is take this filter off. There's the uh, liners and everything. So, so there's the blower I just took off. Possibly a boost leak there. I didn't notice. So again, that's the uh, silver blower with the bypass, T blower, and the end blower. All right, we got the new gasket on, and uh, time to put the blower on. I'll admit right away, guys, these are a bit of a pain in the ass to put on. I think I should follow the manual and put some 3M glue on here. Just one second. Sometimes they go nice. Like this. It's an easy. Okay, we're going to torque it down to 60 foot pounds. So well, that went really easy. I put the gasket on and let it sit for a while with uh, ultra black uh, Permatex.
Okay, nice. Okay, new gasket with a screen. We got Permatex number two on one side and Ultra So we got Permatex number two on one side of the gasket and then Permatex Ultra Black on the other side. And the reason for that is I want to be able to reuse the gasket. If I put adhesive on both sides, it'll tear the gasket. Okay, 24 foot-pounds. Nice. Okay, it's all torqued down. All right, guys, we've got and the blower's all set up. So we're gonna fire Jimmy up and see how he runs. I'm not gonna run him long because, uh, again. The neighbors are not happy. So we'll just run them for 20, 30. Jimmy runs real sweet and he likes that end blower but I can't put a load on him today during the weekday so I gotta wait wait till Saturday and then we'll do another dyno day. So there you have it that's the end blower installed and ready to test and uh, it ran really nice so happy times. Thanks for checking in and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.